Alabama's been here before, including last year when they won the national title, trying to go back to back. Many of their players played in the CFP last year. This is a new experience for Cincinnati. You would think a good start is important, particularly for the Bearcats. Good kick by Bales. It'll be a touchback. An offensive line that struggled for much of the year. Obviously, they were terrific in that win against Georgia. Three runs, and it looks like they're trying to set the tone early. He was able to get back to the line, but they got the play. They give it to Jamison Williams on third and short. Tremendous speed, and he had lots of running room. He goes down at the 34-yard line. First and 10, Alabama. Two and a half minutes in, an impressive opening drive. And it's Robinson for nearly 10 more. Right now, Alabama trying to impose their will. Robinson again. A man on a mission. We're not going to throw it at all. We're just going to run it down their throats. Four and a half minute drive now. Sanders got blasted. First and goal from the eight. Young throws, has his man, touchdown! Slade Bolden! Here it looks like Alabama's adjusting. Yep, here they go. They sent it out wide. Michael Young has the first down. Transfer from Notre Dame. Cincinnati wants to test some of those who will be playing in place of Job today. Quick pop straight up the middle. Jerome Ford. And the UC fans love the effort as he gets helped. That's ten and a half more than anybody else in the country had this year. Devin Lloyd of Utah next. And on third and one, they pick it up with about a yard and a half spare. Ryan Montgomery. Interesting play. You'll see that a lot. It got flipped to Michael Young. And he's down near the 30-yard line. Ritter on target and a nice run after the catch. Tyler Scott, a speedster. Third and goal. Run fake screen and it won't go anywhere. Leonard Taylor, the tight end. Huge weakness for Cincinnati, the worst field goal kicking in the country this year. They've tried three different kickers. This was Cole Smith, who was their kicker in the first six games, then got injured. And it would be a boost if he could deliver, and he did from 33 yards. They've been great on third down all season. John Mechie, a big part of that, not here today. They're second in the country on third downs, almost 54%. Coastal Carolina better. Young man wide open, Slade Bolden again. Stepping up in the absence of Mechie. First down out to the 47-yard line. Three wide receivers, the inside handoff, and a good bounce by Brian Robinson. First down into Bearcat territory inside the 40. And he'll pick you apart. Young doesn't run by design often, flips it forward. To Cameron Latu. The passer was beyond the line of scrimmage, and when he threw the ball, it went forward. The an illegal forward pass. They're three for three on third down, but the average yard to go, 2.3. Young zings one, and a diving catch, outstanding catch made by Jamison Williams. A great catch by Williams going back to the football. Quick snap, Robinson runs over the defense and has the Alabama first down at the 25. Robinson. He's been a standout here in the first quarter, and he has them at the 10-yard line. Play clock down to zero, no flag, and Beavers manages to yank down Bryce Young for a loss. Should still be a formality for Reichert. And it is. 26 yard field goal. 
also catches the ball to backfield very well. Desmond Ritter didn't see the rush coming until it was too late. DJ Dale. Here's a blitz. Young in retreat. Flag down. Long throw incomplete. They brought pressure and they drew the hold. Wanted to take some deep shots. So far they haven't. Determined to get the ball off. And protect Ritter. And a short throw, batted out of the air again, and it falls incomplete. Knocked down by Phil Mathis. Slade Bolden back for the Mason Fletcher punt. That's a bomb. Halfway back to his native Australia, and Bolden taken down immediately. Excellent coverage by Cincinnati. Probably will take a shot deep at some point, test these great corners. Young over the middle. It's Jaleel Billingsley. And on second and 11, they pick up the first down. He's up to 80 yards rushing. He finds some running room outside. And has another first down. Jamison Williams against Ahmad Sauce Gardner. There's Williams. And another poor attempt at tackling by Cincinnati results in a big gain to the 29-yard line. Clearly this play is going to come back. It's still a first down, but... Brian Robinson. You don't need to throw it deep to Jamison Williams if you can continue to run the ball like this. That's almost 10 more. And you know that hurt the pride of this Alabama offensive line, and they've been a different-looking group since then. And they've lost their starters, one of the very few returning starters in Ekior, the right guard. Ja'Cory Brooks. Williamson went in motion. Williams went in motion. Young found an open man, but it's an incomplete pass off the hand of Khalil Billingsley. That's why the throw was a little bit behind. 44-yard try for Will Reichard. Wide left. Can the offensive line hold up? Give him a chance to throw the ball particularly deep. Ritter over the middle and incomplete. Mason Fletcher's last punt went 54 yards, longest of his career. Another towering end over end kick. Joe Joel must the punt. And the freshman tries to get back on. I think Ja'Cory Brooks recovered it for Alabama. JoJo Earl dropped it, tried to pick it up, and dropped it again. After the play on sportsmanlike conduct, Alabama number 42. Just more than three minutes to go in the half. Alabama leading 10 to 3. From their own 12, the catch made. And Jamison Williams backpedaled just long enough to get a big first down. Young again, a little skittish in the pocket, flips it back to Brian Robinson, not skittish for long. Brian Robinson across the 40 and shoved out at the 42. And they get another first down. All right, quarterback hurries, one sack for Cincinnati. Right on target, Young to Ja'Cory Brooks. Williams lined up on Kobe Bryant to the wide side of the field down here at the bottom. And they throw deep to an open receiver inside the 10, Ja'Cory Brooks. Very quick athlete. Pressure on Ritter. Sidestep the rush of Christian Harris. Crosses midfield. Hung on to the ball as Will Anderson tried to bat it out. Second and ten and third and ten are not the best times to try that. Ritter runs into his own man and gets taken down by the brilliant freshman Dallas Turner. Three defenders back near the 15-yard line. Pressure. Ritter is sacked and the half, Will Anderson. Well, it was Dallas Turner the play before. This time it was Will Anderson. They even had the back there to try that's to help. The end of the first half. But that's like helping stop a locomotive. 
Ritter just eight out of 17 for 59 yards passing. Designed run for him. We thought we'd see more of that today. We tried to not get him banged up during the regular season. Averaged 245 passing yards per game. He's on target there for about a nine yard gain. It's critical to Luke Fickle and his staff. Another well, second and one. They throw it this time out wide. Juggling catch made by Scott. With 10,000 plus passing yards and 2,000 rushing yards career. But most of those rushing yards were in prior seasons. Little rhythm now as he finds Alec Pierce. Well, they knew this was a step up in terms of size and strength and speed and physicality along the lines. Jerome Ford, powerful run. He gets nine. Only helps him to keep getting nine on first down. Here's a quarterback draw. They had a first down inside the 25-yard line. In their Hall of Fame and the Ring of Honor at Nippert Stadium. Ritter going for the end zone. Incomplete. Trying to throw it to the back pylon for Michael Young. So here's Cole Smith. Hadn't kicked a field goal since mid-October. And he's two for two today. They text or talk on the phone multiple times a week, even about football or maybe just about approaches in games and championship hunts. Something Mac Jones knows well, Sean. He gave it here to Brian Robinson. What a game he's having. Cincinnati with a little life from their crowd up to the opening score. Can they get a third down stop? Young, so cool, but running out of room and is taken out of bounds by Wilson Huber, who comes in on third downs. Or Luke Fickle said we were not aggressive enough to start that game. We were operating too slowly. Still operating pretty slowly here. That pass is broken up. By Brian Branch. Anderson Williams, five catches, but only 25 yards worth of reception. Four man rush. Young too high. And is it an interception? Yes, it is. Brian Cook managed to catch it before it hit the turf. Playing way off the bottom of your screen. Ritter can't even finish his drop. And Will Anderson is there, along with Christian Harris. Two, two of the best defensive players, most disruptive I've seen in the same season in a long time. Robinson dropped four loss by Darian Beaver. John Mechie a part of that. Their biggest third down target. But not playing today. Four-man rush. Young still forced to step up over the middle on target. And Jamison Williams has the first down. A huge play. Young gave it to Brian Robinson. And a man possessed all afternoon long. He has another tied first down to the 44 of UC. Most young, 15 to 25 for just 155. Two touchdowns, one interception. Finds Williams crossing. And finally wrestled down. Oh, and some extracurriculars there by Deshaun Pace. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense, number 20. 173 yards rushing for Robinson. Young over the middle. Touchdown, Alabama. Cameron Latu. This Alabama defense has been difficult to run on all year. Their defensive line has done a pretty good job yes. of moving Bryce Young around. Ritter's had very few opportunities to throw it down the field as he does there to Michael Young. Well, you got to be two down territory here. Ethan Wright in a running back. He's just in there to block for the end around from Trey Tucker. Desmond Ritter with Branch right there to take him down. Didn't buy the fake at all. But what a terrific football player he is in so many ways. Instinctive, hard nosed, can play pass and run. Robinson adding to his career day. He has been the workhorse today, no question. You talk about no sign of the hamstring problem. He's yeah. been 
cutting like he did there. He's been running people over. 200 yards rushing on 25 carries. I don't think he's done yet either. No. Wear him out. That's now great for him, this. right? Isn't that great for him? I mean, all, he sat behind all those backs. But it, very likely now they're heading the championship game. They have very yes. little depth at running back. It's That's really right. he and Trey Sanders who That's gets right. that call. Sanders doing his Brian Robinson imitation. He's a redshirt sophomore from Florida. Avon Baker in wide receiver number five, along with Jamison Williams and JoJo Earl. By Jay Sanders put heat on Young, and his pass is incomplete. Javon Baker, Todd just mentioned in the game. Beautiful effort by Bryce Young. So here's Will Reichert from 43 yards. And that one's good. Here it's 27-6, largest lead of the afternoon for Alabama. Trey Tucker takes the pass, runs out of bounds with an 11-yard gain and a first down. And you think back to our meetings with the Cincinnati coaches earlier in the week. Here's Ford again, rips through a hole. They got stood up by Branch. What a tackler he is. The coaches mentioned Georgia's difficulty. Difficulty the Georgia tight ends gave Alabama. Ritter down again. And it's not bragging if you can back it up. And he has. Takes off running. Dives down at the 38-yard line. Alec Pierce has been a non-factor. They have held up very well. Ritter under pressure on fourth and five. Throws it short at the feet of Leonard Taylor. And another takeover on downs for the Crimson Tide. Georgia in the Orange Bowl for the first time since 1960. Trying to earn a rematch with Alabama. After the Tide handed them their only defeat of the season. Knocked them out of the number one ranking with that win in the SEC championship game almost four weeks ago. And this Alabama win looks like one of Nick's older national championship type teams. A dominant defensive performance. They're playing Georgia and Atlanta in the championship game down at the half. Nick throws those two freshmen into the game. Tua brings them back and Smith makes the game winning catch in overtime. Okay, Sanders now to bring up fourth down and they won't have to snap it again. Nick Saban, if he hasn't cemented his legacy as the greatest college football coach of all time, he has certainly taken another step in that direction. First time Luke Fickle had ever faced him. Saban has now won 36 games in a row against coaches he has faced for the first time. <laughs>